streets of Carlton once belonged to murderers, thieves, and prostitutes. It was the center of criminal activity. From robberies to the murder of a young woman in a home, Carlton did not disappoint. Yet it remained lively. Filled with people, Carlton became a cultural hub to young adults. They turned to pleasure and God as a temporary reprieve from the horrors of Carlton. There was once a man named Kale who lived where the museum sits. He lost himself to sins and tried to make a living off of God, but he failed. And his home was left to ruins. Then came the Cockman Irish pub, until one day it was destroyed and reduced to nothing. A place that created communities and relationships was reduced to memories. It was a victim. The occupants of this site were helpless and they succumbed to the destruction. They lay forgotten and lonely, existing only in the memories of those who choose to remember. Now the ruin calls out, rebuilt as the Museum of the Forgotten, adopting a mask of sublime, it beckons you to come closer, to revel in the loneliness stemmed from the past. As a reminder of the destruction and helplessness that once occurred, the ruin of Kale's home is revealed by a broken skin in the ground. The museum stems from pleasure, the past and religion as qualities that once provided a temporary escape and called out to the people of Carlton. The spaces within draw from this sublime, creating ambiguities to pique your curiosity and seduce you to stay. It is calling out to be inhabited, begging for an asylum from being forgotten. The loneliness from the ruins exists in this museum, asking you to explore the sublime in its solitude. A monastery is built for you to discover as it once seduced those who are lost. It now seduces you to stay and remember a forgotten past, to live in the sublime of the museum. It is a praise of what was left in the shadows, bringing the past back to the living. <laughs>